to Good Day Dakota. It may not feel like it today, but fall and more specifically November aren't that far away and happening this November, the 2018 midterm elections. Several seats are up for election, including the race for U.S. Congress. We go now to Jim Olson, who's joined live by one of the candidates. Jim. Yeah, thanks, Tim. Max Schneider is here with me, and we're going to talk about his run for the uh, U.S. House of Representatives. Uh, first off, Mac, good to have you here. Jim, thanks for having me. My well, pleasure. Glad that you made the trek here early in the morning to join us. Oh, I'm, I'm pleased to be here. Um, I think uh, let's just jump into some key issues that you see facing the House of Representatives in the country, I guess. And the Farm Bill is big for everybody in North Dakota. How do you feel about the situation where the farm bill stands, House versus Senate and that sort of thing right now? Well, it really is a, a tale of two chambers. You know, the product that came out of the House is, is really a product of ideology. There's a hang up uh, over this fight about uh, the nutrition title and, and SNAP benefits. Mm -hmm. uh, the Senate version, on the other hand, much more bipartisan, uh, more support for USDA rural development programs and things of that nature. So I'd certainly like to see the final product uh, be much more like the bipartisan Senate bill. I think North Dakota would be best served by that. The, I mean, we always have to keep in mind that the farm bill includes the vast majority of it is food programs, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, would you be in favor of trying to separate that out or do you think that it serves farmers by having those two things together? I think the coalition of urban and rural, uh, the nutrition title, the farm programs is absolutely critical to maintain. Uh, the composition of the House of Representatives is more urban than it is rural. Mm -hmm. And so if we want to pass a five year farm bill, but we need to protect that nutrition title, keep that cooperation, keep that relationship that really has resulted in passage of a bipartisan farm bill for decades. Well, let's talk about another key issue that's happening right now, and it affects farmers, and that's tariffs. Um, and the kind of the trade war, if you will, that has developed over the last few months. Um, how do you feel about the Congress trying to get more involved in, in deciding on tariffs and that sort of thing? Well, I'm deeply concerned about the impact of tariffs and, and the effect that that could have on export markets for our farmers and ranchers. And so I, I firmly believe if the administration or any administration going forward is going to avail itself of this narrow national security exception to levy tariffs, that Congress should have a say on that. There was a vote this week, a non-binding resolution in the Senate, uh, overwhelming bipartisan support for allowing Congress to vote to determine if these tariffs really are in the best interest of our national security. So I certainly favor that increased role. I think it's very important to our farmers and ranchers. Well, as you go out and campaign, you're up against uh, kind of a former colleague in the uh, legislature, Kelly Armstrong. And I, I have a feeling you two maybe get along pretty well or know each other, certainly. I mean, what differentiates you from him, do you think? How do, you, how do people, how do voters say, yeah, I'm going to pick you? Yeah, that, that's true. Kelly and I like each other. We respect each other. Uh, but there are big differences. Uh, take a look at, at health care. Uh, I voted to expand Medicaid in North Dakota. It's been a tremendous success. An additional 20,000 or so North Dakotans covered under that program. Uh, increased compensation for care provided by uh, providers like Trinity here in Minot. Uh, my opponent voted against that. Corporate mm -hmm. farming. I, I strongly believe that family farming is the backbone of production agriculture. Uh, my opponent voted to expand corporate farming in North Dakota. So uh, th these are big issues. Trade is another one. He's been supportive of the administration's po trade policies. I'm strongly concerned about uh, the impact of those policies on North Dakota. So we'll have a debate on those issues, uh, but we'll do it in a civil way that, that benefits the people of North Dakota. All right, well, good luck to you as we go ahead. Uh, it's hot today, but it won't be that long before we get cool and you'll be in the middle of the election. So good luck to you. Thanks so much, Jim. Thanks for coming out. My pleasure. Max Schneider. Tim, back to you. All right, thank you both very much.